Yes, we bought a motor home. Here we go. All right, let's try it again. You're not in camera. Hi. Hi. We're coming to you to update you on what's going on. What is going on, Beth? <laughs> well, we bought a van in Europe. What kind of van did we buy? A Columbus 601. Why did we buy a Columbus 601? It was something that we saw here in Florida, kind of. We went to the RV show in Florida, saw Westphalia, and it had a perfect floor plan for us, plus it was only six meters long, which is something that's important for us. We want to keep it under six meters. So we contacted Haro, told him we were ready to buy something. And our he, man in Amsterdam. Our man in Amsterdam. And he sent us some listings of some different vans and found the one we wanted. And it was in Germany and mm -hmm. he went and bought it. Yeah. So we now have a van in Amsterdam. Yeah. It's an Amsterdam van van <laughs> from our man in Amsterdam. Named Haro. Haro. <laughs> which we'll put a link at the end. Uh, he does a excellent book. Uh, online book about how to buy an RV or in if, Amsterdam. Or if you're considering traveling Europe and you want to do it in a van for more than two weeks, you can work with Harlan and buy one yourself. So, so or rent one from him. Or rent but one. But speaking of Europe, what is our plan for well, Europe? Our plan, we're going to start in Amsterdam, obviously, because that's where the van is, and we'll uh, fit it all out, and we'll take it, and we're going to drive from Germany to Poland to Norway to oh, Sweden to Norway and then down to the UK and Ireland. Over would be, I think, over. Over to, yeah, yeah. I'll put a link in the description. No, it's, <laughs> yeah, we're, so that's what we're doing. We're still looking at the map going, okay, where's this country and where's that? So. And we're dealing with something called the Shenzhen Zone, which I'm sure you're aware of, and we're also dealing with um, time in UK and time to come back here and flights and all that other stuff and shipping. Did you know you could ship a suitcase? Um, no, Mark, tell from, me about it. <laughs> from Florida, from Florida to Amsterdam takes four days yep. to get there, and they come to your house and pick it up and take it to Amsterdam and drop it off like it would be your hotel or something like that. So, um, so we've been concentrating on packing and getting all that stuff done. We had. Took the, as soon as we found out that we had the van, that we had to um, change up everything that we we're doing and mm -hmm. kind of put it into high gear. Yeah. Um, I guess, I think, what's our countdown? 13 days? 13 days till we leave here. 13 yeah. days from when we filmed this video to us leaving for us. Uh, where are we going? San Diego. We're going to San Diego, <laughs> and then we're going to Chicago. And then we're going to Amsterdam. Yeah, so, so. we're, we're going to do some family visiting before we leave for Europe, and so we're going to make a big round circle, fly around, and then. Which and is then, why, which is why the luggage is going. Some of the luggage is going to Amsterdam because, as you know, I had the shoulder surgery. Mm -hmm. Pulling around luggage is not the best thing in the world. Yeah. So. Um, Normally, when we travel, we only have one suitcase. We we only we never check bags. It's always one never. suitcase for above and one personal never. item, and never. that's it. Even if we're going for two or three weeks or going on a cruise or whatever mm -hmm. we're doing, that's how we pack because it's easier for us. And this whole business of trying to pack suitcases with pots and pans and kitchen mm -hmm. utensils and so now circle back, <laughs> circle yeah. back. You uh -huh. went on this tangent. Now yep. circle back so that I can show them the video. Um, of the DHL guy coming to get the suitcase. Okay, go for it. I think I just did. So now we have that video. We're going to show you that. And here it is right now. So that was exciting. Um, so the things that you can and can't pack in the suitcase are what? What can we bring? Just about? In the, it's, it depends on which suitcase. The, sh the shipping. Exactly. The shipping suitcase had a whole set of rules for it. Um, mm -hmm. No, no um, weapons, obviously. Weapons, liquids, drugs. No liquids. It's like the stuff medications. that medications. The stuff you would normally put in your checked bag that you can't take with you on the airplane, like the liquids and a lighter or you know that kind of stuff. You can't put that stuff in a shipped bag. 
because oh, it has that to all be had to go in the other bag in the checked bag right not the carry-on bag right so it's all these different luggages that we had to figure out plus we're outfitting an rv over there so we had we you know i mean granted there's a walgreens on every corner and you can buy stuff it's not like we're going to the deepest darkest no. of africa or something but if you already have the thing and you got the room and it's something that you're used to or you mm -hmm. like to have there's some things that we we really some have things we to like have. to have yeah. like so, our, like our berkey you know yeah and our camera equipment filter. and mm -hmm. stuff like that yeah. so shipping that we had to ship that we got a starlink that we shipped uh, we're that's in the, way in the of shipping. that's in the checked bag it's not that we're taking it <laughs> i it just it's very, very confusing and complicated. So, but the the ship bag, it couldn't weigh more than what was it, seventy pounds, I guess. Seventy so, pounds. Yep. Yeah. So yep. we we packed it all up and off it went. I have notes down here, so that was what I was looking at. Okay. But yeah, the shipped one's gone. Uh, it should probably be in Amsterdam today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it takes like four days to get there. Um, but the whole thing with that was two we're we're we were going to ship a total or we're, or we're getting a total of four suitcases to amsterdam to be there for and to be in the van for six months right so that's clothing that's um gifts for our friends mm -hmm. in camping amsterdam. equipment camping gear <laughs> um all that stuff mm -hmm. no food stuffs or anything no. we're not really no and then just the stuff that you need to travel mm -hmm. so so that's what we've been up to. Um, you've seen the van, pictures of the van, or I don't yeah. know if we showed them yet. If we didn't, we'll show them right now. Let's show them now. <laughs>seen the pictures of the new van we're going from 39 foot dx3 that we sold to a guy in yeah. north dakota mm -hmm. to a six meter van that we bought from a guy in amsterdam and we're currently in florida and we're going to san diego chicago and europe mm -hmm. and then back here so going to be pretty much a lot of stuff to do in between then we're going to make some youtube videos right and then share, share what which could have like. very in various <laughs> qual, uh, various different qualities to the video like this one sucks so the oh, next one will be better me. next one will be better uh-huh so okay anyway that was just an update on what's been going on and uh count down 13 days fingers crossed yeah we'll uh we'll be able to do it yep um oh was there anything about um uh, Shenzing zone you wanted to mention? No, Shenzing no, or any not of that? Today, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. About anything else you think of? No. Packing up the house? Nothing? You can talk about that if you want. There. In the past, we've always packed up the house and put all the stuff in the DX3. This time around, it's all going in the garage, including a car. So we've been having a little trouble trying to figure out. Before we did seven years, we were on the road mm -hmm. with the DX3. And the DX3. We had a system. This goes in the DX3. This goes in the garage. These go here. That goes there. And it was then easy. It was easy. Now everything's going in the garage. Yeah. Because um, when we're not here, this house gets rented out Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So there's things that you don't leave out for Airbnb. Right. Right. So you have I, to make it ready for guests. Yeah, ready yeah. for guests. So that's what we had to do with mm -hmm. a lot of this stuff. And that's kind of what's been hard this time and we're kind of driving each other crazy about it because it's yeah it's not it's the normal tough. Yeah. it's tough it's really hard to do plus all the odds and ends and the stuff that pops up at the end of the the your time here like a good example 
you start running out of Amazon days when you need something. <laughs> and they say, well, it ships in three weeks. It's like, oh, no, yeah, that's no, too late. That's, we yeah, can't use we won't it. Be here. Yeah. So we're getting down to the 13 days. Next week will probably be your final Amazon order of any stuff mm -hmm. that we need to have. But we've already figured out how to order from Amazon in the Netherlands. So we have that. Yeah, that's uh, that's something else, too, that we've been working on. It's called a, it's a Nord VPN. Mm -hmm. And um, they're not sponsoring this video, so we're not going to talk about, <laughs> no, get a Nord VPN. I don't care if you do or if you don't. It's up to you. Um, the reason we're doing that is so that we can, one of the big reasons was so we could look for vans in the Netherlands mm -hmm. by faking our IP that we were in the Netherlands. Yep. Otherwise, if you ask, uh, say, do a Google search for uh, a Columbus 600, the, the, you won't find any because they're really not available. Well, you'll find a couple, but I mean, they're not available here, here in the United States. Yeah, in but the there's stuff we're looking for. The lots of RVs. For, so we we were looking at the ads, like it's like RV Trader except it's in German, mm -hmm. and we were using the VPN to search and look for ads. So that that was a whole fun experience. But we also learned that we can use Amazon and have stuff shipped to us in Amazon to a Amazon locker, just like we do here when and we're on the road. And there's there's different things, as you would imagine. There's different things available in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, apple pie and baseball here in the United States, um, soccer, fish and chips in in Great Britain, that kind of thing. Yep. So, yeah, so that was, you brought that up. Yep. But, okay. Okay. I think that that's enough video for now. Okay. Um, now we dance. You're dancing? <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs>